little bit of an introduction into Teddy, which is also known as Fulton's Brindisi. He is a five-year-old gelding by Bellissimo M out of a Sanimo mare, which is Fulton's San Floriana, who has also done and been very successful in young horse classes, winning the four, five and six-year-old championships. She is now competing into two, into two at the Nationals this year, training and hopefully going to do a Grand Prix soon with Charlotte, I'm sure. So it's a very exciting family line. Yeah, Teddy, he's a very big horse. He's beautiful, has a lot of movement and a lot of scope. He's taken his time to grow into himself because he is big, such a big horse. We don't want to rush him till he's ready. Uh, he's very sweet. He's got a lot of character. He likes to show off. Uh, but he's also very affectionate and very sensitive, so he, he's quite a people person as well. So he, he's very fun and sweet to be around. He is a big horse, so we've really taken our time with him. Last year as a four-year-old, he was broken in, then given time to grow. We would do a little bit of hacking. He'd go out in the field, have a summer holiday, and pick up a few times a week in school maybe. Just really allowing him to start his basic education, see the world, because it's really important that they get out of the arena as well, that they're not just in the school five days a week and don't see the world. And I think it's really nice for them to have that change of scenery. Then he had a summer holiday, then winter comes around and we bring him back into work. He does a lot of sort of in-hand groundwork, poles, lots of things to strengthen him up. And then Winter is nearly over, spring is coming around, so we start to think towards, okay, what we're going to do this season with him. And because he's so big and we think look, the young horses is a great route to go down with him to allow him to see the world without the pressure. You know, it's a very inviting scene to go into, whereas, you know, he might not be quite ready to go around and do a novice test. So it's, it's a nice introduction. They go in as a pair and it's very inviting. So then he would do sort of, Three, four days in the school, just really starting to develop his basic training, get a real understanding and a feel of where we'd like him to come out to the shows. Then we go do some arena hires, let him see the world a little bit, and then set a date for potentially take him out and do a young horse qualifier. Just see how it goes, really, because until they go out, you don't really know what they're going to think about it. So we just try and make it a really enjoyable experience for them, and they've seen enough to not be scared or worried when they do go out. So I think what's so super about the Young Horse Qualifiers is, you know, when you do see the ones that have come through the Young Horse Qualifiers and then gone on and still competing at the higher levels, you, you really see that the basics that go into the tests and what they're trying to put into your training does develop the horse in the correct way to go up through the levels and gives it a good grounding to start off their dressage career. And you know, the feedback you get from all the competitions, having the international judges, the right judge, you know, it's a real, it's a real good grounding for you as a rider, trainer and producer of the young horse to take them forward and hopefully produce them and have, give them a long career through. So with young horses, it is really all about seeing how they grow up, how they develop, you know, we have to listen to them with their body. You, you might get a four year old and it might be 17 hands and so big and rangy and not grown into his body and totally not ready to go around and do prelim and novice because he needs the time to strengthen up and grow which is also a little bit what we had with some of our five-year-olds this year you know we gave them the four-year-old year to develop and grow so that they can be in a really good place to come out as a five-year-old and then then they have to see the world so yeah it it doesn't always go to plan thinking four-year-olds can come out, five-year-olds come out, you know, or we'll do prelim, novice, elementary, you know. You really have to listen to the horse. Yeah, we, we really think and love doing young horse qualifiers, you know. It allows them to go out, see the world, not have the pressure of having to do all the movements till they're ready, you know. And it really gives them a chance to have a non-stressful environment because they go in as pairs, you know, they have a friend with them, so they're not suddenly left on their own in a strange place. And, you know, we have judges that they look for the potential. So, you know, they, they're allowed to be young horses and grow. And, you know, if they have a slight wobble, it, it's not the end of the world. But you really start to see the potential in them and, you know, where they might go. The stages in which you have, the, you know, the four-year-olds test is, re is really perfect, is really basic. You know, it gives them nice scales of training. Then you step up to five-year-olds, which is sort of, 
it's touching novice to elementary, you know, so yeah, and it's just really making sure that you've got the fundamentals, which is, you know, a great stepping stone for their career. And hopefully, you know, we are working at home on this to make sure that we are touching on the skills of training. And then, you know, it's just, it's just a very nice system for them to go through and allows them to really see their potential if they're not quite they haven't really got themselves all together in their frame because they're so big horses you know it takes the pressure off them a little bit but then they're also getting out and seeing the world it's really super to be part of the Hortons team it's British breeding you know and it for us as riders it's lovely because we're around the poles when they're born and then we see them grow up over the years and then hopefully we're riding them when they're three and four and five you know so you really start to know their characters and how they are and it's it is really something quite special I think to have seen them grow up and yeah and you know being a rider here at the stud is a big focus is the young horse qualifiers because we Judith Davis the breeder um, she has bred all these horses and they're lovely then when we take them out as young horse qualifiers you know the aim isn't necessarily to just be four, five, six year old champion. It is the longevity of them and the training that goes into them so that hopefully, yes, we can be a young horse national champion, but also that they can then go on and be small tour winners, Grand Prix winners, you know, because that is the aim to go up through the levels. And it also has been proven, you know, we had Hortense Lyrica, she was a four or five year old national champion and now she's competing small tour. Hortense de Chessa has also done the same. And then Horton San Floriana, four, five, six year old. And now she's competing small tour and now up to Grand Prix with Charlotte. So, you know, it really shows that the breeding and the foundation that goes in here is, you know, the fundamentals that's needed is really put in to give the horses the longevity in their career and a good, good starting really.